In this video, we're in the laundry, and this washing machine has a bit of a musty smell to it. Now I should mention that this washing machine is a Fisher & Paykel Smart Drive model and it's the version 5 or the phase 5 version of this machine so what I can see online is the different phases have just a different console but this inner and outer bowl setup seems to be pretty much similar. Now if you've got a different version of this machine you should be able to still follow this instructional video because the process to get this in a bowl out is basically the same. Now the first step is just turning this off at the wall and we're just going to unplug it and just hang that power cord somewhere so it's not plugged into the socket. Next we're going to remove the agitator out of the unit so we're just going to remove this fabric softener dispenser. Now I don't know how well you can see down the end there, but that's the agitator retaining nut. Now we just need to unscrew that. So just reach down with your hand and just unscrew it. Once you've unscrewed it, this agitator should be able to just lift out. Now the next step is we want to unscrew the top deck on this machine. There's two retaining screws under these covers here. So we just want to remove these covers and just remove the screws. Now we're just going to remove these screws holding the top deck down. Now once you've removed those two screws, you just want to close the lid on the washing machine and just tilt this top deck backwards. Now I've just got the top deck here tied up with this bungee cord and as you can see here, the inner workings of this machine looks pretty dirty. Now before we unclip this neck ring from the outer bowl, we just need to remove this bias spring. So this neck ring is just held by these clips here, so we just need to work our way around the ring and just remove these clips. Now to remove this inner bowl here, what you need to do is just pull it upwards. So the best way to do it is have both hands on opposite sides and we're just wanting to pull the bowl upwards so there it goes and we're just going to pull that out now with this outer bowl removed we can see a lot of dirt just built up around the outside of it i'm going to take this outside and we're going to give this in a bowl a clean now you can just use a old brush and water and once you dampen down the soap residue that'll just come off easily I'm going to use a water blaster in this video I just think it's just going to get the job done a lot quicker so I'll just get the water blaster hooked up and we'll make a start Now the last thing we're going to use the water blaster for is just cleaning off this agitator here. I'm just going to peel off some of this lint that's stuck in here. And then we'll use the water blaster just to finish it off. Right, back in the laundry and we'll make a start cleaning out this outer bowl. Now before I start, I'm just going to take this cover off down here. Just want to make sure it's not uh, filled up with uh, dirt. 
we'll clean that out and then I'll move on to cleaning this bowl out. Now if we look down towards the bottom of the bowl here, with the cover removed you can see a lot of build up of lint around here and that runs down and towards the pump so I'm just going to lift that out. Also looks like there's an old paper clip stuck down here. You can see it's left a lot of rust down there. Now that paper clip, because it's been sitting down the bottom for a while, is just actually broken in two there. Now I'm just going to use a brush down here and just scrub just in this area here. So I've just refitted the pump cover and we're just going to screw it back down. Now we're going to move on to cleaning this outer bowl here. We've already refitted the pump hood down the bottom there. Now you've probably noticed there's a ring of dirt, pet hair and lint around the top of this outer bowl here. Now what I don't want is when I clean this bowl out, I don't want all that to settle down the bottom and get pushed through the pump again. So what I'm going to do is just see if I can peel a lot of this off and then we'll get into cleaning the bowl out. So I'm just going to lightly take a screwdriver here. Oh yeah, you can see that that's lifting off already. So I'm just going to work my way around and just peel this off. Okay, so that's probably the worst of it out. Now for the rest of this hair and lint around the top here, I'm just going to wipe out with this brush and I'm just going to avoid letting it drop down into the bottom of the bowl. The next step is we're just going to half fill this bucket here with warm water. And then we're just going to tip it into this bowl here. And then what we're going to do is just take our brush and just start scrubbing this out of bowl. Okay, so we've cleaned up this outer bowl as best as we can get it. Down the bottom we've just got a lot of dirty water. So I'm just going to remove as much as I can just by hand. Now I've finished cleaning this outer bowl here. All the water I managed to get out just using that cup. Any excess water that was left over, I just used a cloth just to soak it up. Now the next step is just installing the inner bowl and the agitator. And then just refit the agitator retaining nut. Now you just have to remember that on the bottom left here of the machine there's a bias spring so just make sure you've got the neck ring the right way around just so you can remount that bias spring. So we'll just refit this. Okay and once that's refitted we can refit the bias spring. Well that brings us to the end of another video, we've successfully cleaned the inner and outer bowl on this washing machine and as you saw it was pretty dirty. Now the last thing to do is just run a rinse cycle through your machine, that'll just ensure any dirt that's 
at the bottom of the outer bowl is rinsed out of the washing machine. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.